Today I'm going to show you how to do pressure cooker bacon and cheese grits. I did a ham and cheese grits the other day and I thought I'd try it with bacon. Right here I have five strips of bacon that I chopped up and I just cooked it until it's brown to render out all the fat. Okay, I went ahead and took the bacon out and I just placed it on a paper towel to drain. And I'm just using old fashioned grits. I'm going to use one cup. I'm going to go ahead and just stir it in the bacon grease to coat it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add two cups of chicken stock and two cups of water. Now you can add all stock or all water, just whatever you choose, and then you just want to stir it well. Now I'm not going to add any salt because the bacon has plenty of salt. And I like to use reduced sodium stock if I'm going to be cooking with something with bacon in it. Okay, I'm going to cook it under pressure for six minutes and then I'm going to do the quick release. Okay, I went ahead and cooked them for six minutes this time. I just added an extra minute to it. And it looks like they did fine. Stir them up using the one that has the little slots in it. So this time it doesn't look like there's any lumps at all. There was a couple lumps in the one I did with the ham, but there was maybe like two, so it wasn't a big deal. Now I'm gonna add about two cups of uh, grated cheddar. This is just the uh, mild cheddar. some black pepper. Okay, just with all grits, the longer they sit, they will thicken up. But these are actually the consistency that we enjoy. Okay, now on the bacon, you don't want to add it until they're completed because you don't want the bacon to get soggy so you definitely don't want to cook the bacon in with the grits like I did with the ham. Okay they're still pretty hot. I'm gonna let them cool off for a second on the spoon here. But yeah I went ahead and cooked these for six minutes. Um, the ham one I cooked for five and I really can't tell much difference so you can easily cook it in five minutes or six whichever you prefer. They tasted perfect uh, with the ham so I'm just gonna try it here with the bacon. Mm. Mm. Well, of course, bacon is my favorite. The ham one was delicious, but uh, I definitely have to say the bacon is probably the one I'll do from now on. And there you have it. Thanks a lot.